Jericho and Joe Namath from the No Mercy brand get to juke it out. We had endured, ladies and gentlemen, a hellacious No Mercy Hardcore Wrestling show with uh, Scott Pilgrim and Mick Lovin. They were part of a first blood match and there was a time limit draw. Both men are eliminated, disqualified from the tournament. And uh, oh yes, excuse me ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be having seven superstars competing for this year's King of the Ring tournament. Pumpkin Escobar now is the fourth man on the Choose a Night Bomb brand. Vicious Jeremy mentioned earlier ago, ladies and gentlemen, that, that Player Uno is the is the future. Vicious Jeremy wants Player Uno to, to win this, this King of the Ring tournament, and he's the only face amongst the three heels now at this point. Chavo didn't make it. Chavo was our heel, our, our face. He was our man. He was our hero. We were expecting Chavo to win, but instead a huge upset from the Cruiserweight Champion of the World here, Pumpkin Escobar. He's going to go to the King of the Ring tournament along with other heels like Perfect Sean and Shaneetan McKay. Things are not quite well, and guess what? I mean, Player Uno didn't have to win a match to get in the King of the Ring tournament. It was a gift. It was a present from Vicious Jeremy, and uh, you know what, Uno? Good luck to you tonight, uh, good, 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 luck, good, good luck to you tonight on your match. I can't even speak. Next match, folks. The following Tornado Tag Team Contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 230 pounds, Kurt Angle. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for my slurring before the commercial break. My segment, I um, I really upset at the uh, at the staff of media. Usually, when I perform my segments. The music played when it stops suddenly, when it's about to stop. I get upset because it should be still playing as soon as I am done talking. And it's hard to gather all the information under a certain period of time. I got too much to say. I got way too much to say. The soldier! With Pumpkin Escobar winning, I was a little bit disappointed in Chavo Guerrero because Chavo's made a Chavo has indented his name in the cruiserweight division, trying to wage war on guys like Pumpkin Escobar. And moves like that irritate the death out of me. Because Chavo was supposed to fucking win the goddamn match. And I don't apologize for my language. I am really upset. I cannot believe that Chavo just gave up like that. I mean he, he survived an arm bar, but he can't survive an Eastern stretch. So now, Claire Uno is the only face, super, so the, one, the only face athlete, he has to win. All the pressure now is on the 8-bit luchador, and I feel sorry for him. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 191 pounds, Titanium Rhapsody. And the tag team partner from Canada. Weighing in at 250 pounds. These two cousins are pretty much like brothers. Titanium and Larry the Rabbit Laren. They've been feeling very crushed since they have lost their chance or they have lost the match for the tag team titles. I know how hard they work. Damn well know how hard they were. They deserve every bit of 
of those gold belts. And it's very sad to see talent like that, you know, be unused. So we're having tag champs and the, the and Titanium Rhapsody go out of here. Uh, tag champs have been not doing very, very well uh, lately because uh, one, Cloud Strife had lost the tag team match two weeks ago. And last week in a main event in a steel cage match, Perfect Sean just freezes his way out of that cage. He gets into the game of the ring. See, it's stuff like that that, that bugs the death out of me. These bad guys have an act of getting out of all these kinds of places. And here we go. Tag team action. Here on Choose an Icon, days before the 2013 King of the Ring. It's gonna be awesome, but I cannot wait. And Shavo, I really hope that in the future you make an impression. You gotta, you gotta, you have to raise the bar now. That is your goal. You have to raise the bar against your peers, especially Team Mexico, who, who have the Tornado Tag Team Championship. They have the belts. Chavo, you've got to win that Cruiserweight Championship. You're, you're pretty much our only hope. Player Uno is pretty much out of that division. Curse is nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, we're having Negroes like Pumpkin Escobar take over the division. And I, don't, I, I, I honestly don't, I don't fully trust talent like the Hurricane to jury. You know, guys like me, like, no offense, they're good talent, but not against guys like Escobar. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a mean guy here, I'm being honest. Fantasy Pro Wrestling, and to close out the month of April, tomorrow, May the 1st, is The Rocket's birthday. We haven't seen The Rocket in over a year in this business. He's going to be training 26 years old. Hard to believe, but he's going to be training 26 years of age. And we wish him happy birthday. He's going to his, his, his baby girl, his baby daughter is going to be one year old in the month of July. A lot of things have been happening, folks, and already with May, with, with May approaching, I can't believe how fast 2013 has passed by. I cannot believe, I cannot even imagine. And what the road, what, what the rest of the road for fantasy pro wrestling this year is going to be like. But what I do know is going to be, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be a very, very busy year.